Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. It is a Monday afternoon. I'm going on my trip on Thursday, but I need a few last minute things. As much as I would rather not be going shopping for food, I do need to eat from now till then. And I'm all out of beef, so I need to go get a small beef roast of some kind. My mother needs bread. I was going to wait till Wednesday, but she's like, I better have it now. I just bought her bread, a big loaf of bread on, I don't know, I think two days ago. It's when I went to Walmart the other day and took you guys with me. Yeah, I think it was Saturday. It was, and today's Monday. <laughs> she needs bread. And then I would have liked some haddock. So I was going to go to Rogers for haddock. But then I thought I could get her the bread and she wants some bananas. Probably better to do that at Hannaford. I also have to go make a bank deposit. So I'll be right next to Hannaford. So I'm thinking we'll go make the bank deposit first. Then we'll go to Hannaford for a few things. And then if I still feel like I want some haddock, we'll go to Rogers and get some haddock. How's that sound? And I'm taking you for the ride this time, but I am waiting for my windshield to warm up a little bit, and then I will back up and scrape the passenger side of my car. The way I park, I can't get on that side because I don't shovel on that side of my car, so I clear off my side, back up, and then scrape and get the snow off my car and let that just fall into the road so the plows have something to do. <laughs> Let me show you what you can see right now. That's my windshield. Not too much to chat about. I want to just go get that done, get home. I have a lot of laundry to do. I have started packing. I just stress. I stress so much over a trip. But I will say, as much as I'm stressed, I do know it's better than the last time. I just seem to be a little bit more balanced. That is such a good word, balanced. It's not... Um, such horrid stress. Let's just go get my few tasks done. Let's just back up here and let me get this car scraped. I think it's starting to melt and I'll just take you for a ride. I can't see anything behind me. But I always check and make sure there's no uh, cars parked in the road. I had a little peekaboo hole I could see. All right, I'm gonna get out and scrape. Seatbelt. And we're off. Remember, I am not driving fast. It's just the sped up video. I feel like a race car driver. nuts there's nobody at the drive-thru but I just I just want to go drop this in the night deposit box I'm scared I'm glad they don't lock that up during the day I'd be forced to do all my banking at night okay Hannaford Everybody out of my way! Stiff neck driving. Mm. Oh, that was tiresome. 
What a workout. <laughs> See, there was a car coming. Gotta creep out slowly. Nobody, nobody. My turn. I don't have socks on. It's winter. 20 degrees. My heels are bare. Hot in here. I can't get a frigging spot where I can pull forward. What is this world coming to? <sighs> oh, I thought that was a space, but it wasn't. I guess I'm gonna have to go all the way over there. Hey! Watch it! And back up without look. Ah! Slow down! Jesus Christ, mister! Stop! You fucking asshole! You gonna fucking hit me? Jesus! I couldn't fall forward. Somebody was in front of me. Oh my God! <sighs> The last thing I want to be involved in is an accident before my trip. All because I'm parking lot fussy. Okay, I see places over there. I'm going for it. Seriously, that person started to back up and then saw me and stopped, but then he assumed I was just going to go right through a stop sign and in front of traffic, so he just started backing up. And he came within, I'd say, six inches of my car. And then he peeps back at me like he's pissed off that I didn't move. I hate people. <laughs> Holy shit, we did it. I fucking made it. Oh my god, I'm stressed. All right, let's go get some meat. I'm in deep need of meat. That didn't go well at all. It was not necessarily packed in there, but everybody was swarming around me. You know, I don't know if it's just because I went in there so nerved up because of that guy. Seriously, I didn't know what to do to get his attention. I even hated to beep because there was a car in front of me going past and I didn't want them to think I was being impatient and wanted them to hurry up and get out of my way. But the guy behind me, I mean, he was just so close. He wasn't even concerned. I'm so scared. So I go in there. People are in the bread aisle for my mother. I got her a loaf of Italian bread and I got her some brown sugar cinnamon pepperidge farm swirl bread she's gonna be one happy camper about that and then i go to the meat and a meat employee comes out with a thing on wheels with the trays with meat on it and comes right up to where i'm standing and just has his hand on the cart and is just looking at me as though to say get the fuck out of my way so I, you know, just quickly scanned the meat and that made me very nervous that he was standing right there. So I leave and I go to another section of the meat and I kid you not, he comes over. He takes one of those trays out of that cart and comes over to where I'm standing and stands right next to me and just looks at me. You know, and at this point I wanted to take that fucking tray and just kick it from underneath and make that meat go flying so I had to move so he could put the meat down it's like can you please leave me alone and let me fucking shop so I bought no meat there I was so fed up and I did look at the haddock and that was $9.99 a pound and then two or three people were like cutting right in front of me okay 
was not a good shopping experience. The cashiers, on the other hand, there was, I don't know why there was two cashiers there, but there were, and then there was the girl bagging. Absolutely loved them. They made me feel so much better. I don't know if they could tell I needed cheering up, but they were very, very pleasant and fun and nice. And then when I came out of the store, I looked down and I had a penny from my daddy. My daddy was a major collector of change on the ground. And I always see this as a sign that he's thinking of me and that everything's going to be okay. Cool. My father and I were very much alike in many ways, but I don't remember him having a temper. He probably had a temper and just didn't show it in front of me. I don't know. But I never knew the man to lose his cool or to, um, you know, just have a vulgar sense of humor like I have. He would swear in French. All the words in French were fine in my house because when I was little, they spoke only French in the house, mostly. French was my first language. I learned English shortly before I started school. So, I don't know. I'm just rambling. I don't know. I'm just nerved up. It's going to just be a stressful few days. Once I get on the plane, I will relax and be happy that I'm on my way to Memphis and just have a few days with my little girl, Skylar, play, make crafts. She has learned how to play Yahtzee, so I'm quite excited about that. Let's go to... Where are we going? To Rogers, because I want some haddock and I didn't get any beef here. Beef man was in my way. So I'm going to go to Rogers and hopefully they'll let me shop. Let's go. Let's try to get out of here without causing commotion. I see somebody backing up. I'm going to stay clear until they have completed their task. Hurry up! Now see, that, I was just kidding. Which way are they going? They're going that way, so I will creep out now. Let the world know I'm here. Everybody stand still. Let me get out of here. It looks like he wants to back up. Don't you even try it. Off to Rogers we go. reason I don't know about why everyone is out today, literally there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other cars besides mine. Eight at Rogers. It's usually like me and maybe somebody else. Okay. Seatbelt was all twisted. I'm not going to chat with you guys because my mind isn't fit for chat. <laughs> I'm just going to end up just uh, getting mad about all kinds of things. I did get a roast and a New York sirloin steak. And I'm going to have that steak for lunch. No haddock. Not coming in until Thursday. I was mega bummed out. And it is ham day, two forty nine dollars A pound for sliced ham. So I did get two pounds of that. My mother can make some sandwiches. And I picked up some more bacon ends because I just do stuff like that. And that's it. I'm just going to go home and upload this and see how much I have to edit out because I'm sure that even though you guys seem to be fond of my filthy mouth, I know I can go overboard. Maybe someday I'll go overboard. Maybe I'll start letting myself do that. We'll just see how many of you hang on. <laughs> All right, let's boogie. We're off. Traffic. There is a god. We're home. 
You don't know how seriously happy I am that that guy stopped before backing into me. I can't even imagine having to wait for the cops to come, having to deal with insurance. All that stuff to me is worse than the actual accident. Having to wait for my car to get repaired. I better double check and make sure I have rental insurance. I'm pretty sure I do. Anyway, it's just always a hassle. So very, very glad we avoided that. I'm glad I have some meat to eat, even though I was really, really craving haddock, but they didn't have any. So I'll wait. I'll wait when I come back. I'd like to try to remember to buy it like every week. I deserve haddock if I want it. I'm going in. I'm going in the house. I hope to have a video for you guys every day, including the day I leave, because I'm hoping I'll be able to get that uploaded that night. I will be recording in Memphis where we'll be doing some videos with Skylar. Not sure what we're going to do yet. We will find something to do. And that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!